हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑफ मेटेरियल साइंस एंड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस इन दिस कोर्स दिस इज मॉड्यूल वन एंड हेयर वी आर सो फार वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट सो फार वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट थ्री थिंग्स दैट आर आई गेस वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट मेटल नॉन मेटल वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट मेटल्स that is ferrous metal and their alloy non ferrous metal and their alloy and polymers now in this lecture we will see about ceramic and composite material now in the ceramic and composite sector to the, this lecture as lecture objective we will understand the ceramic material properties and application of the ceramic material in automobile engineering uh, and automobile engineering application and we will study about composite what is composite and their applications so ceramic ceramic are organic and non metallic material these are organ inorganic and non metallic materials which consist of metallic or non metallic element which is bonded together together primary primarily by ionic or covalent bonding the actually the term is known as ceramic bonding so in case of ceramic bonding there is a percentage of covalent bonding is there and percentage of ionic bonding is there which uh, gives that ceramics a good property that is hardness so ceramic is a ceramic is a a material which is very hard and the term ceramics the term ceramics come from a greek word keramikos and this keramikos means burnt stuff so anything that is that is burnt stuff is known as ceramics so burnt stuff with this indicate that the desirable properties of this material are normally achieved through a high temperature heat treatment process called called firing so in uh, take any of the ceramic in our day to day life the ceramics we used mostly used ceramics are bricks those bricks used to make um, buildings those bricks those bricks are mainly made from the clay and those clays are, are Uh, after the uh, after giving that shape those clays are fired or burnt after burning those clay uh, become so hard that that building structure can be made using those bricks so this is how ceramic works so for getting the desired strength ceramic material should ha- should at- pass through high temperature heat treatment process called firing now what are the properties of the ceramics now we will see about the properties of the ceramic now ceramic material has ceramic material has micro cracks those are uh, micro cracks which means small uh, size of the crack this small size crack present uh, present this will lead to fracture uh, lead to low fracture strength in tension that means when we uh, load the material when we load any ceramic material by tensile stress or by tensile load what will happen fracture will happen uh, uh, fracture will happen very easily next ceramic are strong in compression as there is no stress amplification due to micro cracks are seen so Uh, the 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 uh, ceramic materials are strong in compression now stress strain behavior behavior and fracture strength of the ceramic material are determined by transverse bending test so for ce- ce- ceramic material transverse bending test should be there to test the strength of the material because here uh, compression and tension test on give success, uh, success, uh, successful result any plastic deformation of the crystalline ceramics 
result in dislocation motion that is they behave like brittle material so ceramics cannot be cannot be formed very easily or nor machinable nor have a good machinability so the ceramic material is a brittle structure but ceramics are hard material that's why they are mostly used in most of the mechanical and automobile application because of it is a hard material it is water resistant heat and electrical insulator material and they are chemi chemically and uh, uh, ceramics are chemically stable they are non magnetic and they are prone to thermal shock but they can resist the temp high temperature that is it can be used as a refractory materials so these are the properties of the ceramic now ceramic materials are what are the product of the ceramic material so best known ceramic product are pottery those pottery item we have seen in our daily life those pottery glass brick porcelain and cement so cement cement this cement is also a ceramic material Uh, clay and construction product such as bricks clay pipe and building tile are the product of the ceramic refractory ceramic product high temperature application such as in uh, furnace wall similarly cement can be used in construction and ro ro roads glass glass is a part of uh, glass is also a ceramic material and that glass Uh, can, by using glass we can uh, uh, bottle lens window pane light bulb windshield of the uh, windshield of the automobile anything can be made using glass and there is glass fiber glass fiber are also there glass fiber can be used as thermal insulating wool it can be used in fiber optics in communication line etc these are up to this these are for these are in the non oxide section these are in the non oxide section but the, the there are other type of ceramic there those are in the oxide section such as aluminum oxide silicon carbide this aluminum oxide and silicon carbide is highly used as abrasives abrasive means very small and hard particle those are used in the grinding wheel or in any other machining operation so uh, these are uh, for example these are aluminum oxide and silicon carbide similarly for cutting tool material tungsten carbide aluminum oxide boron car cube, uh, cubic boron nitrate this type of uh, uh, material this type of ceramic materials are used now ceramic insulator and bioceramic bioceramics means the uh, the material that can replace the human body parts such as uh, such as uh, teeth or bone so these are known as bioceramic so uh, and ceramic insulator uh, this insulator this ceramic insulator has a great use in the electrical industry now in the automobile in the automobile sector automotive application there are large application can see one can see in the um, automotive section the ceramic applications are first the functional ceramics those are used in spark and glow plug oxygen sensor sensor knocking sensor parking distance control and P T C heater, fuel injection system, etc. So, uh, it, at the, these places, the functional ceramics are used. Similarly, structural ceramics are used in the pump component, ceiling, brake disc, cat catalyst support, and particular and in particularly in filter. So, these are the application of the ceramic material in automobile section so now we will see about composite material composite what is composite it is a combination 
of two or more chemically distinct and insoluble phases. So there are two or more chemically distinct and insoluble phases are there. So these phases are mixed together. By uh, these phases are uh, mixed together by some special manner so that it can give good strength. So these are composite material. The constituent material or phases must have significantly different properties uh, for it to combine them. Thus material, metals and plastic are not considered as composite although they have lot of fillers and impurities. So, that, uh, so this is the thing that co for being a composite the constituent material or phases must have significantly different properties. That means the properties should be very different. So that's why uh, we know that metals or metal alloy is also is also mix of is a mixture of various uh, other metal or various other element but they are not treated as composite because they do not have they do not have uh, drastic drastic or significantly different properties so uh, these are the composite material the composite properties and performance of the composite materials are far superior to that to their their constituent that means if we if we reinforce if we make a composite by using metal and plastic together this composite will have far superior far superior property than plastic and metal individually so composite consists of one or more than one discontinuous phases that means that discontinuous phases means reinforcement which is embedded in a continuous continuous phase that is called matrix so uh, in case of composite there is there exists one matrix in that matrix in that matrix reinforced Meant reinforcement are given. One such example of a composite is concrete. In the concrete we use for um, for our roof, that concrete will have the reinforced the matrix of uh, matrix of steel rod, and in that matrix, cement uh, uh, cement. Uh, and other material other material that concrete is given given so that is a example of a composite so what are other example of the composite cemented carbide rubber mixed with carbon black wood is a wood which is a natural composite so these are the composite material so now we will see the use of the composite material or application of the composite material. So composite materials are uh, used in part of thin cross section such as air capped fuselage section, automobile and truck body panel and boat hull. In aerospace industries, automotive industry, spring and bumper systems, uh, tooling for tooling fiberglass reinforced plastic has been used for boat hull, fishing rod, tennis racket, golf club shaft, helmet, skis, etc. So these are the use, these are the typical use of the composite material. Now composite material application, what are the application as per, as per different sector application in spacecraft sector antenna structure solar solar reflectors satellite structure radar rocket engine etc can be made using composite material similarly in case of aircraft sector jet engine turbine blade turbine shaft compressor blade air foil surface wing box structure fan blades flywheel engine bay uh, engine bay doors, engine bay doors, uh, rotor shaft in the helicopter, helicopter transmission structure. Most of the element can be made using composite. Composite has a also composite has a property 
that is composite is lightweight but its strength is good so that's why in case of aerospace and uh, aircraft and automotive industry composites are widely used there are some miscellaneous application of the composites they are bearing metals materials pressure vessel abrasive materials electrical machinery thrust members cutting tool electrical brushes uh, brushes and in automobile engine bodies piston uh, piston cylinder connecting rod crankshaft bearing material etc can be made using different composite material so in automotive you can say composite are used as a candidate material so automotive parts uh, body parts made by the composite seat structure can be made by the composite formula 1 cars is completely made by the uh, com uh, composites composites are used in road and mountain bike also also in uh, road bike made of aluminum the seat post handle bars and the for forks Honey honeycomb composite is used for chassis design fuel tank is made of ke kevlar reinforced rubber these are the application of the composite material in automobile sector here in this image you can see that uh, the uh, metri the part that is that can be made by the composite structure in a general automobile so uh, the frame subframe front um, and rear center selector selection um, and the roof front lid front end rim other outer side section door rollover uh, bar trim door seal uh, end panel rear cent uh, of the rear center section rear wing rear lid subframe bling wing etc can be made using etc can be made using the uh, composite material so these are about ceramic and composite material with this we end the chapter this uh, module that is module 1 uh, in the next module and the next lecture we will see about phase and phase transformation so that's it for now uh, if you have any problem we will discuss it in the live class thank you